For our 11.1 .1 task one, we're going to be looking at this coordinate plane. So the coordinate plane is made up of two number lines that are intersecting. We always do X first and then Y, and it goes around one, two, three, four quadrants. So we're going to identify the coordinates of a point on this plane. So first we have X and Y. So remember X goes over, then Y goes up and down. So we have this ordered pair in quadrant one will both be positive. So you have to go over positive, up positive. So what are the coordinates of point A? And then how can we describe it? So we are telling them how we get there and what it is. So this one goes over. So we're looking for A. So we always start at the origin over three, up four. So this one's going up three and over four. So we're telling them this, we go up. Sorry, we did not go up three. Oh my goodness. So we went over three, up four. So we went right three, and then we went up four. So they're positive, positive, positives to the right and up. So that's what we're doing for each of these. So look at quadrant two, what values can the X coordinate of an ordered pair in this quadrant have? So X, it wants to know what are all these X's to get to quadrant two, they all have to be negative on your X. And then the Y to go into quadrant two, you have to go up. So X is going to be negative and Y is going to be positive to get into quadrant two. Okay, now quadrant three, it wants to do the same thing as two. It wants to know how are we getting there? What will the values of X be? What will the values of Y be? So to get to quadrant three, which is where C is, we have to go negative. So X again will be negative. And then to go down, on the number line. Also, Y will be negative as well. So to get to quadrant three, it's a negative, negative number. Okay, now quadrant four, what are the values quadrant four can have? So quadrant four is here where D is. We have to go over to the right, which is positive. So X is going to be positive and then we have to go down into the negatives. So X is positive and Y is, well, not negative, how about negative? So Y is negative to get to quadrant four. Okay, now it just wants to us to find what B, C, and D are. So let's find B. So we start at zero, zero, so we went over to the left, negative one, and then up four. So B was negative one, and then up four. So to get to C, we start at our origin, zero, zero, so we went negative two, and then down, negative four. So we can see negative two, negative four on C, negative two, negative four, and then D, we start at our origin, zero, zero. We're going three units to the right, positive, and then down three. So we have positive three, negative three. So, and then these match. So B should be negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, negative for C. And then D was in quadrant four, positive, negative. So every time, start at your origin, move right or left, depending on your positive or negative, and then up or down, depending on the positive or negative. And that's all of it for task one.